overwhelmed, overextended, procrastinating, just drained and with a to-do list a million miles long and you just wonder how am I going to get it all done. If you've been feeling like that, you're not alone. Many of my clients have come to me this week just feeling stretched, too stretched. And I wanted to share with you the tip I'm sharing with them that is making all the difference in helping uncover the blocks in their chakras or chakras, it's kind of like tomato, tomato, that are holding them back. It might be a drain. They might be over giving in one area. They might not be able to receive help and abundance in another. If we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller. I'm an energy alchemist and a spiritual life guide. And my mission is to make the invisible world visible, sharing with you the sacred practices, rituals, and tools that can help you claim the life you were born to live. So let's jump in. How do we find these blocks? The pendulum. This is a great tip that I love. We have our seven main chakras in the body. More than that, but let's just focus on the seven. The rainbow color. You may have seen it somewhere like at the book in Target on the uh, edge by the Hallmark cards, but you have this beautiful set of rainbow colors in you. And these uh, chakras are organs. Think of them as a way to digest energy and information that's coming in towards you. You have everything from the root all the way up to the crown. And we're going to check in with those chakras using the pendulum. All you do is you hold the pendulum in front of a chakra and you just say, okay, show me how are you moving? And you take note of how the pendulum is moving. Now, there are many ways a pendulum can move. It might move in a circle, it might move forward and back, side to side, diagonally, it might not move at all. The circle might go clockwise, it might go counterclockwise. Holy cannoli, there are so many ways it can move. Don't worry about that right now. Um, if you wanna know more about that, drop a little heart emoji in the comments below um, and I'll share with you ways you can learn. But for now, just notice, is it moving at all? And if it's moving, it's a good sign. That means your energy center is flowing. Check in with the lower belly, second chakra, and say, just show me, how is my energy moving today? What's happening in that chakra? And you just notice. You check in with the third, right there in the solar plexus. What's going on with the solar plexus? This is where you find your confidence, your resources, your expertise, you claim your power. Check in with your heart. Now, one of the things that when you use a pendulum to take note of, I said, if it's not spinning, that means you're blocked. That's a block. Now, if it's spinning counterclockwise, that means you're losing energy. So it's a nice little circle here. Check in with your throat. Now, the other thing about clockwise is that you might be sharing information. It's not that one is bad or good the way that the, the spin moves, but what I want you to be aware of is just what's happening. You're going to check in with your third eye and then also your crown. Now, when you do that, you're going to get this information back. Let's say, for example, you noticed that the root chakra wasn't moving. It was blocked. That's a sign to you that you need to do something to create safety in your world. Because when we are overwhelmed, there's a state of shutting down, paralyzation, and we're like, I just, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's almost like fight or flight. We're not moving forward. We're not getting the to-do list done. So if you know the root chakra is blocked, you can do an activity that creates a feeling of safety. Let's say it's the throat. The throat is blocked. Then you know, okay, well, I've got to talk with someone about this. Maybe I need some advice. Maybe I just need to vent. But knowing which chakra is blocked enables you to release that so you can move forward and you can get that to-do list checked off. You can feel accomplished and move from overwhelmed into a place of peacefulness, rest, and living the life that you were born to live. All right, drop me a comment below if you use pendulums in your practice and what kind of pendulum you like to use. Do you use one with a crystal? Is it metal? Is it wooden? I always love to find out what others are using. And if you'd like to continue this conversation, click on the link anywhere around this video. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye guys.